Hello everyone! The second video in the bit coding series is here. This time we'll explore the I.O. block section. When a button is pressed or released, we aim to display the button's name and play a specific tone. You will rely on the I.O. block section when doing anything with the buttons. You can find these two blocks, when button pressed and when button released. Start by dragging the when button pressed block into the drawing area. The first button we'll program is the left button. Select left from the drop-down menu. Now change the display color to black using this block from the display block section. Next, find the block that allows you to write on the display and position the word left on the coordinates x equals 5 and y equals 5 in white. As we learned in the previous video, we have to put the push frame block at the end each time we do something on the display. You can find that block in the display block section. We also want to play the tone when this button is pressed. Locate the play tone block in the IO block section to achieve this. The first number in the block represents the tone's frequency and the second one how long the tone will play. Set the frequency and duration to 500. Return to the I.O. block section and find the when button released block. Drop it onto the drawing area. When we release the button, we want the display to turn black. We do that by finding this block in the display block section. Remember to use push frame block again. Repeat the process for the other buttons. You can either duplicate the previous blocks or repeat this process. Upon pressing the right button, change the display color to black and write right in white at the coordinates x equals 5 and y equals 5. Play the tone with a frequency of 750 Hz for 500 milliseconds. On release, clear the display. Follow the same steps for other buttons. For the up button, choose black display with up written in white at coordinates 5 and 5. Play the tone at 1000 Hz for 500 milliseconds upon pressing the button and turn the display black on release. For the down button, choose black display with the down written in white at coordinates 5 and 5. Play the tone at 1250 Hz for 500 milliseconds upon pressing the button and turn the display black on release. For the A button, Choose black display with A written in white at coordinates 5 and 5. Play the tone at 1500 Hz for 500 milliseconds upon pressing the button and turn the display black on release. For the B button, Choose black display with B written in white at coordinates 5 and 5. Play the tone at 1750 Hz for 500 milliseconds upon pressing the button and turn the display black on release. And finally, the menu button. Choose black display with menu written in white at coordinates 5 and 5. Play the tone at 2000 Hz for 500 milliseconds upon pressing the button and turn the display black on release. Remember to include scan buttons block within the loop forever block to ensure proper code execution. If your code looks like this, you are ready to click the Run button. Start clicking the buttons we coded. Fun, right?
thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more examples.